are back where we left off last time. It's working on these shelves. So our goal this week... Oh, we forgot our intro, Frank. Hi, I'm Frank. And I'm Abby. And together, we're Frabby Farm. <laughs> What's going on with this thing back here? So, as you can see, we are working on solving problems that we have. <laughs> so we're trying to get these shelves today fully... Today we're going to solve problems we created. We are going to solve problems we created. So as you can see, we are working on getting these shelves in here finally, and I'm going to document it. So first off, I am going to head over and take everything out of the shelves while Frank is in here working. So hopefully we give you a little bit of behind the scenes on both. And then our goal is to have these shelves completely full and set in place by, by the end of this video. What? So, hopefully we can do that because this closet needs to be done. So let's work hard and try to get this done. Let's try our best and see what we can get done today. Sleeping Beauty. thing that we have to do is move all three of them in um, because we need to figure out how far apart we want to space them. All right, I'll help you start doing that. Oh, so. So especially because they're going to be um, so a, lot of, a lot of these things bow and cake and yeah. contour and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's going to be really hard to do. Nice even testament. Yeah. That's probably going to be something stupid like one in 17, 30 seconds or something silly like that. Yeah, well, they all need to go that way now. This way? Mm -hmm.
You really gotta be doing that right now? Show me the drill. Okay, <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. This one? project that you thought you were going to be able to handle and then it turned out to be way more work than you were expecting because that's what this library has become <laughs> anyways i'm probably going to put a hair mask in and then try to keep going on this room because it was way bigger of a project than i was expecting so i brought you guys back into this room because this is going to be our bedroom i'm kind of debating if i want to turn these black but we will see because that's a pretty big project we'll see if future abby is that crazy but i wanted you guys to continue this journey of cleaning and organizing with me and i am in what will be our bedroom and i have a lot of projects in here that i I'm brainstorming because I'm kind of thinking about turning these into black stripes. But that seems like a really big job. And we'll see if I decide to do it. Okay, so I have this Sleeping Beauty Rose. It's a forever rose, so it's actually a real rose that was dipped in an epoxy and then the gold on it is actually foiled gold um, that my husband bought me for Valentine's Day several years ago and he keeps buying me them but this is the only one that's encased because it just reminded me of Beauty and the Beast and it makes me happy. So there's some stuff that just hasn't moved out of here because first of all I need to clean it and second of all because I don't want to damage it. But I'm going to set up the camera now so that I can actually continue going through this stuff also have like random stuff that I can't get rid of. This is a pouch full of ancient coins that my husband got when he was a kid. Um, we have an entire mailbox of love letters that we've written to each other over the years and little notes that we've given each other over the years. That's cute, cheesy, you know. Uh, we also have random stuff, seriously. Mm. We have an entire letter writing kit, an entire letter writing kit that I need to transition safely over to the other room because it's just a glass case full of all of our supplies. And again, another box with more letters. I don't know why I have two boxes for letters. Back in the day, Abby had an idea and uh, today Abby forgot. So let's get all of this out of here. Oh. I also posted a reel. If you guys follow us on social, wow! If you guys follow us on social media, you'll see that I've been posting reels and getting a little bit more vulnerable on there. And this is one of the little things that we had in the background of one of our videos. And it's actually a little rocking chair that we collected five years ago now. I think so, um, because we wanted it for our future child and. When we first started doing this clear out in our house, I discovered that there's some stuff that's just kind of sad. <laughs> like, I pulled this little guy out, and I realized, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell on camera, but I realized that it had a bunch of cobwebs and dust and dirt and stuff, and it kind of was just a reflection of our journey into waiting patiently for kids and how it's a dream that seems to be taking a while. So just reflecting and sitting there staring at this fucking chair with all the tiny little cobwebs made me super sad. So <laughs> I uh, chuckle because it's a hard topic to talk about. Anyways, we also have a couple other things that go with it. So we bought this little sword. It's a little wooden sword that we bought years ago. I think we've had this one for like 10 years now. Um, and then a little box and other little things like my baby blanket from when I was a baby. 
and then a little box full of stuff <sighs> that we were hoping we could give to our kid once he grew up. Now, if you follow me on social, there's a lot of stuff like this behind the scenes that you will never see um, unless you watch on YouTube. So I'll show you guys what's in the little box because it's actually sweet and kind of sad. <laughs> Um, we have a tiny little outfit because boys have this weird thing that when the end of the world comes and they're gonna have to run off and you know defend the nation or something like that that they're gonna all be in little Hawaiian shirts so Frank bought this uh, I'm gonna say like 11 years ago because it was gonna be his son's little um, outfit for going on an adventure with the boys to defend their freedom so there's that. There's also like a little bolo tie we found, or we have, somebody gave it to us actually. And I think it was the cutest thing ever. And I thought that that was the sweetest little thing. So I was like, I'll just keep that. And then some of our old cell phones. So some of our like cell phones from high school that are just at this point, like relics. Um, and so we were like, that'd be cool for us to show our kid in the future. Some of like our old iPods, uh, or well, I cannot even open this anymore. It's rusty. Um, to show them some of us, some of our old iPods are like phones. Um, and then a little cassette tape so that, that way they can see like, again, things that we were raised with. And a little badge for if he wanted to be a sheriff. This one we bought when Frank was still a sheriff, a sheriff's deputy. Um, we bought it because we thought it would be cute for him to, you know, kid our kid to emulate their dad. And then some little knives, cause you know, every boy should have a knife. So we, or girl too, that's why we have two. Um, so we have all that and it is going to stay in this little box and I will probably clean up the rocking chair, you know, a whole display of hope and all that, blah, blah. Um, but I'll probably clean up the little rocking chair and keep it. There are, I'm not gonna lie, there's some days that we see this little collection standing there and me and Frank both get the sudden urge to just throw it all away and give up on that dream. But it's, uh, I guess it's an act of faith that we continue to hold on to this and wait to see if anything comes from it. But we'll see. If not, I'll document when I get mad and burn it. Yeah whatever <laughs> i promise i'm not like s super depressed about it i understand and i'm okay with processing my emotions so let's continue getting rid of all this and going through and sorting all of this because it's a lot I think that's all I can do in here besides get rid of that to the giveaway or take it to my neighbor. And then this little desk over here. I need to work on that. So let's work around the stuff I need help with and get to the next part. 